Hey everyone, this is Bridget Benson with Community Realty and as usual, the second Wednesday of every month, I like to do a YouTube video for you on the Humboldt County market update and more. So today we had our office meeting and we talked about a couple things before the market update, so I'll go over those. Um, if you are looking at a property that needs a septic tank installed, they've extended the wet weather deadline to April 30th, so you have some extra time to get the septic system or the land uh, tested for a septic system. Uh, we live in a very rural area here in Northern California, and so septic systems are not uncommon for our area. The other thing we discussed was this really cool website. It's called Symbium.com. And what this is, their mission is to empower anyone to easily understand and visualize what is possible on a property. And so things that you can find on Symbium.com, I'll put that down in the description for you. It uncovers property information so that you can see what's possible for any parcel. It will go over permit history. It will show you if you can put um, additional dwelling unit on the property. And it will um, show you how the property is being used currently. So there's a lot more than that, but if you wanna check that out, I will put it in the description. And we did talk about the market update. So market update, I will tell you my opinion first because it's been crazy. I have been doing so many showings and think it's just the spring season, bringing buyers out and bringing listings onto the market. People are ready to buy. They're just looking for the right one and being cautious on making offers somewhat. Um, although some properties are getting multiple offers. So it's really, it's really touchy here in Humboldt County because we have a lot going for our small area. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that. and. We just, we have a lot going on, so it's fluctuating. Um, but definitely with the spring season, things are picking up for our market. So we have a steady flow of inventory coming in right now, but they are going pending just as fast as they're coming in. And that is going to be based on the location, the condition, and the price of the property for these buyers. Uh, that is going to make them go pending. There are some properties still sitting on the prop, on, um, on the market. And um, those ones are, you know, need to adjust the price or need to do some repairs on the property in order to sell. So, but we do have a steady flow of inventory now that it's springtime. And people, this is another observation from the office, is that people are getting used to this new interest rate, well, the normal interest rate, I guess. Back in the day, my broker said interest rates were 20%. And um, then during COVID, we saw like 1% and 1% is just not normal um, interest rates. So we're getting just more familiarized with normal interest rates. Buyers are considering that and they're asking the sellers to buy down the points too, which helps them get into the home. Our median home price is now at $420,000 for March. That went up. In the days on mark, it was at 40 in March, but now it's trending down. So like I said, um, people are making offers and things are going pending. And so the days on market are going down. It's just a season change. And the list price compared to the sold price. So after declining for several months, it, the list price and the sales price, um, we're seeing the rebound. So the list price and the sales price are rebounding up and that means that the sales price is sometimes over the list price right now. So I've been looking at, you know, I look at the closed listings. There was a property in Eureka that went for 40,000 over asking. Other properties are going 10, 15,000 over. Some are going under. It really is just dependent on, you know, the seller motivation and the condition and the price and the location. So there's a lot of different factors that make that come up. But if interest rates continue to rise, um, we will likely see a, per, a correction in pricing on the houses because you know, usually when interest goes up, prices go down. So we could see some corrections there and sellers pricing their 
homes uh, more appropriately for today's market. We do have a couple of listings. We are gonna have um, a three bedroom, two bath, 1200 square feet, has a nice big fenced yard. It's in Eureka. It's going to be listed at $449.9. So if you want information about that three bedroom, two bath house, 1200 square feet, let me know. We are also going to have another listing in Arcata. Hotspot Arcata, guys. Um, Douglin is where it's located in Arcata. It's a three bedroom, two bath. It's small. It's 988 square feet. And it does need some love and some TLC. That one, it looks like it's going to be listed at $379.9. So um, Arcata is a hopping spot. Uh, if you are looking to be close to Polytech Humboldt, that one could be for you. And that really completes it. So it was, um, we in the beginning of the office meeting, we had a photographer, so, you know, we didn't have all the time to go over everything, but we did get to those market charts, which shows the median home price being 428,000 for March. So if you have any questions about real estate, or if you're looking in my area, I do virtual tours. I'm happy to do that for you. And I can show you any home in the market. So I pay a special realtor fee to show you any home on the market. And if you have any real estate questions, please reach out. I'm Bridget Benson at Community Realty in Eureka, California.